Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, I have a good news to share with you. Mega PNP draw is done by Ontario. What are the details of this draw? What is the analysis of this draw? I will share everything with you. So before that, I request you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. We share a lot of news updates about Canadian immigration on this channel. And if you like the video, please share it with your friends and family also so that they can benefit too. Now, let us quickly start into the details of this draw. Mega, yes, Mega OINP draw, Ontario Immigration Nominee Program draw, which is Ontario's PNP program. So what is the draw? What are the details? Let us look at it. So, Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, before actually going into the analysis of the draw, it is very important to understand the categories because if you, you know, there are so many categories, if you don't understand the categories, you will get confused. And there are some categories where you need to have a federal profile also. There are some categories where federal profile is not required. So let us look into it. So PNP, Ontario PNP, basically is divided into four categories, four categories. What are those four categories? Express entry. So express entry, as the name tells, this is linked with federal express entry. So on one hand, you need to have profile in the federal express entry system. And parallelly, you need to also put expression of interest in the Ontario PNP program. So this is express entry, Ontario system. And now let us look into the second one, which is graduate stream. Now graduate stream, as the name tells, these are those people who graduate from Ontario university or colleges. Not every program, only masters and PhD program, masters and doctorate program. So graduate stream. The third one is employer job offer. And the fourth one is business stream. So I keep telling this and I'm repeating myself here that entrepreneurs are very, very important for Canada because it is the entrepreneurs which provide job. It is the small businesses which provide jobs to the people and economy boost. So at every level, federal as well as provincial level, every level, there is a program for businesses, for entrepreneurs. But Today's talk is not about those. Today's talk is limited to graduate stream. Today's talk is limited to employer job offer stream because the mega draw which happened happened in these two categories. We will look into this. So first let me just clarify the graduate stream. As I mentioned, graduate stream has masters as well as PhD two pro programs, only two degrees are counted. So if you have done masters from Ontario, from college or university, or if you have done a doctorate, then you can apply under this stream. Now let us look into the employer job offer stream. Under employer job offer stream, there are three categories. So the first one is foreign worker stream. The second one is international student stream. And the third one is in demand skills stream. So here are the draws which happened. Now, the draw which happened, basically this, this draw is divided into two days. So half of the draw happened on February 28th and remaining half happened on the March 1st. So combined, this resulted in a mega draw. So what is the draw? As I said, it happened under two categories. Those categories are graduate stream and employer job offer. Under uh, this draw, profile is not required. Profile under express entry is not required. So this is very important because these programs are not tied to federal express entry stream. So profile in express entry, federal express entry is not required. So total number of candidates which were invited are 1,493. Yes, 1,493 candidates were invited and on February 28th, 173 PhD candidates were invited who have completed their doctorate from Canada, Ontario. 
and on march 1st the invitations were under the masters graduate category foreign worker category international student stream category so overall if we look into it this is the details of march 1st and february 28th draw so graduate uh, under the masters graduate program stream minimum score was 41 and number of invitations given were 238 foreign worker stream minimum score was 39 and please don't get confused this is not crs score this is ontario's internal matrix right so under the foreign worker stream 456 candidates were invited international under the employer job offer international student stream the score was 72 and 411 candidates were invited under the international student itself they have hand picked they have selected they have targeted certain occupations and they have what those occupations are i'll share those details with you also um, for now 215 of those type of people were picked and total invitations given were 1493 now let us look into the details as i said those 215 people were picked and they are from these knock codes so mechanical engineers industrial engineers then again drafting technologies user support technicians information technicians contractors belonging to metal forming electrical trade pipe fitting carpentry construction trade tool and die makers sheet and metal makers so huge line iron workers electricians uh, industrial electrician plumbers carpenters bricklayers concrete finishers plasters drywall roofers insulators painters and uh, again supervisors and contractors in mechanic trade heavy equipment operators so this list is pretty long right so you have uh, heavy duty equipment mechanics refrigeration mechanics railway uh, cargo men and then aircraft mechanics elevators uh, construction and mechanics automotive service technicians electrical mechanics motorcycle mechanics crane operators and landscaping and horticulture services and lastly power engineers so big list so if your knock code manages matches with this this is excellent opportunity for you guys so now one important thing i would like to share with you although each category has its own uh, details but a general process a kind of general process of how to apply under ontario's pnp program so if you have to apply for ontario's pnp program and receive an invitation the first thing you need to do is do our expression of interest yes expression of interest and put your profile in on the ontario website this is the first thing you need to do the second is that once you have the profile then your profile will go into the expression of interest pool just like express entry pool at the federal level there is a eoi pool in the ontario level right so ontario will give you a score they will provide you with a score and based on the information you have submitted they will generate a score so once you have the score the again the score is ranked so it's pretty much transparent kind of thing so if you get a higher score your chances are higher so high ranking in, uh, candidates will be invited to apply and one important thing i like to tell you under graduate stream you do not need a job offer so that is important uh, sometimes i see people just waiting for the job offer no for graduate stream you do not need a job offer if you have graduated masters if you have done masters or phd from ontario university or colleges you do not need to wait because you have to apply within two years of your graduation so you can apply under graduate stream and straight away get pr so if you need any further information about any of the pnp topics so please reach out to our office our office is located in brampton and uh, one important thing before that i want to share with you is that january also they have uh, conducted the draw and in january draw they have uh, ontario has actually invited 2618 candidates to so just trying to tell you the history also that every month 
Ontario is inviting uh, people for Ontario nomination. So if you need more information about this, you can reach out to us. Our email ID and phone numbers are here. And once again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you so much.